uh, with my little understanding about spiritual things, I may not be too deep. Bro. All these people are calling themselves pastors and clergymen. I'm also a pastor, but I'm discovering that there's an occultic manipulation they're using on all of us. And me, I, I am just waiting if this thing is real, let it come. But all this uh, hype is not affecting me because this they are using some kind of spell that works weekly, monthly. If the week is expiring, they will enchant new spell and tell us that by next week, by next week we are good to go. To 72 hours we are good to go. 48 hours we are good to go. Or uh, lock your platform. All these things are hypes they are be using on us. And when the month is about to end, they will consult some powers and come and tell you that ah, this month is ending in the beginning of next month. Then they will they will control you before the month, before you enter that month. As the month comes, you cannot say anything. They will tell you next week, next week, weekend, this and that. So before you know that, Easter is around the corner. They will tell you, ah, before Easter, you are going to celebrate this Easter. You will have something to do Easter. You will have something to celebrate your Easter. And at the end of the day, you will not have anything. If these people are not ready to disperse money, if there's no money, let them come out and tell us publicly. What is paying me is the all grand pressure group. If really all grand pressure group know that there's no money anywhere, please let them be open. About these grand handlers, I don't care about them. Uh -huh. The only thing that gives me a little hope is the all grand pressure group saying that there is money. But if there is no money, let's leave these things. Not to them claiming this and that. What is paying me now is the all grand pressure group. That is why I'm still having a little faith. If not, the young grand pressure group are telling us that there is money. And there is a from another source. I have stopped believing this since uh, our, our guy here, uh, our leader here, uh, the hitman, exposed through uh, the US officials what is actually going on. And then his, uh, his uh, hot seat show gave birth to a chat room of the of grand pressure group. The truth has come out. This, this man never had money. A clergyman. And was in a memorial memorial service of somebody that is dead. You are not afraid that one day you are going to go to grave. That you are going to give account of whatever you say. You claim that God told you that by last year, being 28, because 28 years, you will disperse money to Nigeria. That God said. You open mouth and said, God said. And yet you know that what you are pursuing, you didn't have the money. You don't have access to any money. There was no document anywhere. You lied to Nigerians. And then you did a uh, uh, screening. And collected money. And when I need Thanksgiving for successfully scamming Nigerians, people pay the money. And now, uh, you went to NTA, NTA announced these things. What? This is a spare. It's not ordinary. Because if it's not, if it's not a, spare, a spare, how can NTA, a whole national television station, will broadcast something that is a lie? And even now, they have not tried to find out that this is a lie. And there's nobody taking any action. Oh, uh, my brothers and sisters. The problem I have with Nigeria is that we talk much, but we do nothing. And let me keep quiet because uh, I believe in action. And if I see people who are really ready for action, we take action. Because these men are doing this and are working free. Tioba did this one for many years and worked free. Uh, that it is on Tioba's uh, time. I, I the last last two years or thereabout, I start. Uh, I came into this grant uh, community. Some of you have uh, been there in Tepecon, uh, Sim and uh, Sam and the rest of them. And nothing good has ever come out of it. And yet, we are still here. Talking about something I don't understand. Next tomorrow, next tomorrow. And the people that are doing this thing, they will scam people at the end of the day, they are walking free. And you think it's ordinary? The answer is no. Let every one of us in grand community wake up every five o'clock sharp in the morning. Pray till dawn. That one hour, don't joke with you. Say, I take dominion over every spell that casting on me. You will see that your eye will clear. Reject and abort every evil program in the womb of the night against you to control you the next day. If we, all of us, will wake up and do this thing, I want to assure you, this spell will go off our eye. And when we react, things will be done in the right way. God bless you all.